Well, I tell you what, Mr. Munson, the sea cliff is great. You and your wife, Sandra, have done a fantastic job of the place. Well, thank you, Mr. Crane. <laughs> you know, we hate the thought of selling, but uh. we want to move closer to our grandchildren in, in Connecticut. Well, I think the sea cliff will make an excellent investment property. Oh. Whitney. Chad, what are you two doing here? Oh, well, I brought my best girl here for a romantic weekend. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait to get her alone. Mm -hmm. Good. TC and Eve are still out. I can set up my sister's downfall and then stand back and watch the truth crush her. Aunt Irma with Eve when she was just a child. Before bed-hopping and pill-popping days began. Okay, now, all I need to do is have T.C. find this. And when he does, he's gonna want to meet Aunt Irma. And when that happens, Eve will meet her fate. I must remember to invite Aunt Irma to my wedding to T.C. Liz, what are you doing here? In the dark? Still haven't found Antonio. I was supposed to meet Louise at the Sea Cliff Inn. Might as well pack while I'm here. Antonio. I hate that I've hurt him. I, I really do, but I would be living a lie if I stayed with him. I, now remember my love for Louise. <sighs> Louise. I can't wait to be with him. I can't wait to start the rest of our lives together. <sighs> Sheridan doesn't love me, she loves me. I don't want to fight you, Antonio. I just want Sheridan. Well, you know what? You're going to have to kill me first. think about is Luis. I really did feel something more for him that night when he kissed me in Hank's apartment. It's just that it's been so long since we've been together. I want tonight to be special. There's so much to make up for. Even more to look forward to. I just felt a chill. Someone just walked over my grave. What is it? What could possibly be wrong? Just hold on. I'm gonna try and pull you up. Why don't you just let me fall? Because you're my brother. And if I can help it, I'm not gonna let you die. Well, I just want you to know if you save me, it's not gonna change anything because I'm still gonna fight for Sheridan. Well, you can fight me all you want, but you're not gonna get her. Sheridan loves me and we're gonna be together. Oh, we're not dead body. Well, it's gonna be if you don't shut up. So long. So, you guys, uh, you guys celebrating anything special? Uh, special occasion? Yeah, being together. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's been pretty tense back in Harmony with Whitney worried about her mother cheating on her father with Julian. So I decided we need a little R&R. &R. You know, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but, um, money's been kind of tight. 
Yeah. Tell me about it. Why do you think I'm working again, huh? <laughs> well, I saved up some money, put the music on hold for a couple days, and um, here we are. Well, good. Good. I hope you guys have a good weekend. You know, and let me know what you think of the place. I could use your input before I make my final offer for my family to buy this place. <laughs> well, we'll be happy to do that. All right. Hello. But tonight? No, no, no way. I can't do it. So why are you sitting in our living room in the dark? Well, I, I was just about to leave you a note. What about? Kay. I was wondering how she's doing, you know, in case Simone wants to know. Kay is resting comfortably after surgery. Good. And how were you planning to write a note in the dark? Oh, well, you know, I'd just come in, and I was just about to turn on the light when you guys came in. Well, hey, now that you're here, how about sharing a bottle of wine with us? Oh, TC, I would love to. What are we celebrating? My love for my wife and how lucky we are. Oh, how sweet. Well, I will open this up. I'll be right back. You know, I ran into Ivy earlier. She's mighty desperate that I don't tell TC about you and your sordid past. Ivy told me that she had the displeasure of speaking with you. And I told her that you can't tell TC anything without letting him know that you've been deceiving him all this time. Not only about what you know about me, but about being my sister. Half sister, please. Technically, I have always loved you as my sister. And we've always been very close, as close as two sisters could be. Used to be, Eve. My reality growing up is nothing like the picture you paint. It's a different picture all together. I know, Liz, I know I'm to blame for all your grief and suffering. And... Yeah, Eve, you are to blame. Because it's all your fault. Singing God's praises in church wasn't enough for you. No matter how proud you made Mama and me. No, you want it more. Funny how more rhymes with whore, which is exactly what you became when you ran off to serve your new lord and master, Julian Crane. When you left us to seek your fame and fortune, you broke Mama's heart. She was so ashamed, Eve. She shut herself off from everyone, including her husband, my father. You know, men have needs. You know that, right, Eve? Daddy's position in the community wouldn't allow him to cheat on Mama publicly. So he did his cheating in private with me. Oh, God, Liz. It all started innocently enough. Daddy just wanted company. And I loved spending time with my daddy. But soon that wasn't enough for him. He wanted companionship. And when I refused, he raped me. Oh. shut up in her bedroom reading her Bible and Daddy would come in and have his way with me. He said if I ever told anyone that he would kill my pets or me or even Mama. 
You know, Eve, if you had stayed, if you hadn't left home, I can't help but think that none of this would have happened. Daddy wouldn't have come looking for love in his daughter's bed. Together, you and I, we could have stopped him. Liz, I'd love to think that I could have done something if I had been there. But you were looking at a child's life from an adult's perspective. We really don't know what would have happened if I'd been there. Maybe your father would have gone through on his threats to kill Mama or hurt Mama or hurt us. No, no, no. Eve, you and I would have taken Mama away with us. See, I couldn't do it by myself, but together, you and I, we could have done something, anything to stop the pain and hell that I was trapped in. <gasps> Honey, I, I wish to God I would have been there. I am so sorry, more sorry than I could ever say, but I wasn't there. And you won't accept my apology, and you won't give me a second chance. I don't know what else I can do. Well, there is nothing that you can do now, Eve. Nothing but sit back and wait for your past to catch up to you. Because it will. Soon. No, I can't do it tonight. Well, yeah, I want the job. I've spent weeks in those tracks. Hey. Give me a second. What's wrong? It's the record label out of Detroit. They want the tracks that I've been working on first thing tomorrow, which means I gotta go back to Harmony, dub them, and send them out overnight express. They're threatening not to pay me if I don't deliver. Oh, that bites. Well, Chad, you know what? You don't have a choice. I mean, you need the money, so you just gotta do what they want. I'll be right back. You know, you're right. I do need the money. I mean, between bills and this weekend away, I'm strapped for cash. Only I don't want to ruin this weekend away, you know? You know, it's okay, you know? We'll just come back tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. There are no refunds. Well, that's why we're so profitable. Mm. Hey, I'll go back to Harmony alone. I'd only take a few hours to do what I need to do. Mm. Oh, I hate leaving you alone. Mm. Well, Fox. Can you hang out here with Whitney until I get back? Me? What? What, Fox? Yeah, we're all friends. I mean, uh, Fox has proven he's the one guy that I can trust to uh, take care of the woman I love. <laughs> it was warm enough to have the air conditioner on in here. I'm just chilled to the bone. It's almost like I have this feeling, this, this sense of dread. Could have been father's warning to not link my mother's death to Martin Fitzgerald's disappearance. Is that it or is it something else? Maybe it has something to do with Antonio and Louise. Antonio, just try it. Hold on. I'm trying. Okay? No, Luis, I'm not. And I'm not gonna be okay as long as you've got Sheridan tricked into thinking that she loves well, you. It wasn't a trick, okay? Sheridan loves me. And I'm sorry if that hurts you. You know what? Don't apologize to me because I don't want your pity. Oh. Sheridan's my wife, and she's gonna stay my wife. Antonio, he's up. No, he's gonna pay for stealing my wife. I didn't steal your wife. Sheridan, remember, she loves me. It's as simple as that, Antonio. Oh, yeah, because that's a lie, and you know it. I mean it, Antonio. Back off, or I'll have to arrest you. Oh, that's right. Stick up for me, buddy. Hey, I'm a cop. Okay, you're brawling in public. I treat anyone else the same way. Now, Luis, you gonna press charges against him for assault? No. I think losing Sheridan's bad enough. You know what? Don't do me any favors. Hey, Tony, why don't you just face the facts, okay? Sheridan and I are together now. You know what? You know how you fought for her and you got her back? Well, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm doing the same thing. 
I gotta go meet her right now. I'll keep Antonio here. I'm cool off. But this isn't over. You are my passion for life. So, man, will you keep Whitney company till I get back? I know I'm asking for trouble, but... Sure. Sure. No problem. Um, as long as it's okay with you. Well, sure. Yeah, why not? Well, there you go. Well, thanks. Excuse me. Sure. Yeah, sorry for the holdup. Yeah, I'm heading back to the studio now. I'll have those tracks out to you as soon as I can. Hey, baby, I hate to leave you, but I... I can't oh. afford to lose that client, you know? Oh, I know, I know. Just, you know what? Be careful on your way back, because it looks like it was going to rain earlier, OK? Yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for helping me out. Yeah. And you, thank you for understanding work is work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, baby, I'll walk you to the car, all right? right. OK. It's nice to see three such close friends. But being here alone with Whitney, that could be too close for comfort. Liz, what happened to you, honey? That was a lifetime ago. You know, we were both different people then, but we're barely more than children. And look at all that's happened since then. I've cleaned up my life. I've, I've become a doctor. I married a wonderful man. Yeah, yeah, I know. You did all the things I couldn't do. The trauma that my father inflicted on me haunted me for years, Eve, years. I tried to have meaningful relationships with men. I had several before I met Antonio. But God, I loved him. And he loved me. And still, I couldn't give myself to him, body and soul, because of what Daddy did to me. So, how long are you planning on being a victim, then? On blaming everybody else for your problems? I don't, Eve. I blame you. I worshipped you. and adored you. I looked up to you with such awe. Honey, I know. I remember I loved you so much. But when you promised me that you would always be there for me, that you would never leave me, God, I believed you like I believed the Bible verses that Mama taught us. But you left. He left me, Eve. And I couldn't cope with it. Oh, God. I was so lonely. I was heartbroken and lonely, Eve. And Daddy seized on it. And he jumped in to fill that void in the most twisted, heinous way imaginable. Don't you see, honey, you are letting your father win? Oh, shut up, Liz. At some point, you have to take responsibility for your own life. And if you need help, I know several wonderful therapists. <laughs> God, don't bother. <laughs> I have spent years on a shrink's couch, and it hasn't helped. I am still just as angry and shut off from life as I always was. OK. OK. It's OK, and I won't push you. But maybe there's something else I can do for you. <laughs> oh, really, Eve? What? Well, we know that Sheridan has her memory back. And that she loves Luis, not Antonio. So that means that Antonio is going to be a free man. Honey, I think that you should reconnect with Antonio. Because now, you, after all this time, you might be more open to finding true love with Antonio. Luis! 
Jeez, I thought we were gonna meet at the secret club. Ah, oh. Sheridan, sorry to disappoint you. It's just me, your husband. Tony, I, I was just going going to look for you. Oh. Guess what? Now you don't have to. So I heard you say you're gonna meet Luis. I'm sorry, Antonio. I, I hate that I keep hurting you. Oh, you're not hurting me. It's Luis. He's got you confused. You don't love him. You love me. What are you doing with my suitcase? I don't be needing this tonight. You're not going anywhere. Why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> I still have feelings for Whitney. The last thing I want to do is babysit her. Did you say something? Whitney, hey. I, uh, I, I didn't realize that you'd come back in. <clears throat> Did Chad get off okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. I just hope he takes it slow on the way back to Harmony. Yeah. Slow is good. So, um, you were saying something about babysitting or something? Yeah. Um, the Munsons, the people that run this place, they, uh, they're moving to Connecticut so they can babysit their grandchildren. You know, it's... It's difficult to be hard-nosed in business when you're doing it with people as nice as the Munsons. <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> well, thanks for noticing. So are you. So, um, do you want to get a bite to eat? Thank, Hungry? Th thanks for that, but Chad and I ate on the way up here. We were just going to watch an old movie on TV tonight. Mm. You want to watch it with me? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I should probably get my laptop. First, I'm expecting an important email. Okay. okay. Hey. Uh, um, I'm sorry, sir. We're booked solid tonight. Uh, th th there is a church shelter in, in town. I'll, I'll give you cab fare. I have a reservation. Would you please keep your voice down? My wife and I are trying to sell this place. and <laughs> She'd kill both of us if you jinx the deal. Okay. I have a reservation. Yes. Yes. Honeymoon suite. Lopez Fitzgerald. Luis! Mr. Crane, you know this man? Yeah, yeah, I know him well. He and my aunt are, um... Uh, well, it's a long story. <laughs> Luis, what happened? Yeah, it was just a little run-in with Antonio. Evidently, he's having a harder time moving on than I expected. What happened this time? Oh, my God, don't tell me you're on the run for kidnapping. Oh, shh, Sandra, and I can't get to Connecticut fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you, got, you guys missed all the excitement. Oh, yeah, I was sent to jail for 25 years, but... Well, then Sheridan remembered that she still loves me. Oh, my God, that's so romantic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, the case was dismissed, I was released, and Sheridan and I are back together for good. Luis, I'm so happy for you. I'm happy for you and Sheridan. Oh, thanks. It's, uh, it's just, you know, it's good to be back with the woman I love. I know what you mean, Luis. I know exactly what you mean. Antonio, I am worried about you. <laughs> what? Worried I messed your plans up with Luis? What happened? You look, you look like you were in a fight. Yeah, I was. With Luis. Oh, my God, is he all right? Believe this. I'm gonna stop fighting for you, but yeah, hey, uh, Luis is fine. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for it to come out that way. I just meant that I, I thought you meant that you had killed Luis fighting over me, and I, I couldn't live with myself if that happened. Look, look, look let me just, let me clean up your wounds, all right, before they get infected. Luis made it sound like uh, you don't give a damn about me. Is that right? It's not true. I do care about you. But I don't love you the same way I did back on St. Lisa's before I remembered my love for Luis. Sheridan, you may have loved Luis before you met me, but I, come on, think about it. You and I were soulmates, not you and Luis. That's not true. I love Luis. Look, you're only saying this because he kidnapped you, he held you prisoner, and he brainwashed you. No, 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 that is not true, all right? That is my father's fault. He's to blame. He tore Luis and me apart. He, and it's not the first time either. He's constantly tried to come between us. 
Julian even admitted being forced to help my father's plans. Julian's a snake and he can't be trusted. I used to think that, but Julian's changed. He actually has my best interests at heart. You know what? Forget Julian. This is about Luis. He's trying to steal you away from me. That's not true. I can't believe you. Would you listen to yourself? You know, you're, you're defending a man who has a child with a woman he won't even marry. A man who covets his own brother's wife, not to mention the fact that he seduced you when you were a psychiatric patient. He was only trying to help me remember my love for him. And, and I finally did. I love Louise. Sharon may have remembered her love for Louise. But Antonio won't forget his love for her anytime soon, if ever. Believe me, Eve, I watched him fall in love with her on St. Lisa's. It was a life-altering experience for him. So even if Sheridan chose Louise, it doesn't mean that Antonio's gonna let her go. Besides, I have my eyes on another man these days. Warm wonderful, trusting man who deserves better than the lying slut he's married to. Oh, Liz. You don't even love T.C. You just want him to get back at me. I will make such a good wife to T.C. Liz, please. Let me help you find real love. You could offer to fly Antonio back to St. Lisa's to help him get away from it all. Uh -huh. This is just your latest attempt to get me to leave Harmony. No. No, Liz. I want you to be happy. I want you to find real happiness. And I think that if you could rekindle what you had with Antonio, and I bet I could get Julian to buy the blue note back from you, and then you'd have plenty of money to start over again. And if it wasn't enough, I could help you financially. You could afford to do that? I'm a doctor. I make a good income. Let me think about it. Then you would consider it? I said let me think about it. Oh, Liz. I can't tell you what would mean so much to me if I knew that I could... could help you get your life back on track and find the happiness that's eluded you. Well, I have to admit that it's very nice of you to offer to help me out financially. But are you sure you can swing it? I mean, you must have so many other financial obligations already. Honey, I do, but you would be a priority. Well, but you'd have to cut back somewhere, you know, maybe in your giving to charities or relatives. What makes you think that I, I give money to relatives? Well, here you go, ladies. So, did I miss anything? No, no, T.C. Um, Eve was just starting to tell me about a relative of hers. So, Eve, how is your Aunt Irma? Aunt Irma? You mean my father's sister? <laughs> well, yes, unless, of course, you have two Aunt Irmas. <sighs> no, no, just the one. So, what did you want to tell me about Aunt Irma? And here's a check for next month's expenses for oh, my Aunt Irma. Super, thank you. So how is my Aunt Irma doing? I'm not dying anytime soon, if that's what you're hoping, you heathen whore. Oh, no, Aunt Irma, come on now. Now, your niece has taken such good care of you for years. And she got the dirty sheets to prove it. Oh, my God. Slut. Oh, well, I, I haven't heard from Aunt Irma for years. I, I believe she's dead. Oh, really? How sad for you. But what did you want me to know about your Aunt Irma? <sighs> Just, she loves soap operas. The characters are like family to her. <laughs> that is, that's sweet. But honey, you have never mentioned Aunt Irma to me once. I mean, I would have loved to have met her. L Liz, can you believe that I have never met any of Eve's family before? 
Oh, really? Well, that's a shame that you've never met any of her family. After all, you know what they say. Blood is thicker than water. Hey, look. Nice room. Munson's run a classy joint, huh? You know, I'm thinking if we can agree on a price, this might make a good addition to Crane Resorts. Yeah. And since you agreed to keep an eye on me till Chad gets back, you get a chance to stay in the room and actually see what it's like. So go ahead, try out the bed. Excuse me? You know, see if the mattress is lumpy or not. I'm gonna see what channel the movie's on. Yeah, uh... Right, no, I should, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, um... set up my laptop first. Oh, that's right, you're expecting that important email, right? Right. So what's this movie that you're dying to see anyway? Oh, oh, it's called It Happened One Night with Clark Gable and Claudette Colbert. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know it's a classic. Um, well, I'll tell you what, why don't you get into movie watching mode and I'll go fetch us some sodas, okay? Okay, great. Just delivered for Sheridan Lopez Fitzgerald. Right. Wow. Thanks. Um, you know, just put them right there, please. Sure. Oh wow. Tonight is gonna be perfect. <laughs> I guess that's why you reserved the honeymoon suite, huh? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, you got that right. Excuse me, sir, but uh, were you in an accident? It was. You know, it was more like an altercation. Oh. I was just about to get cleaned up. But those. Scrapes and bumps need attention. Luckily for you, I got antiseptic wipes on hand. The Munsons are very germ conscious. Here you go. Here. You dab the boo-boos you can reach, and I'll get the ones on your back. Oh, thanks. But you know, this is perfect, because I wouldn't want Sheridan worrying about me when I just wanted to have a good time, you know? Oh, oh, that champagne you ordered, it'll be sent up soon. Oh. It's the best we offer. Oh, that's great. Oh. You know, it's, it's been so long since we were together. I just want everything to just be perfect, you know? She sure is lucky to have a man like you. No, actually, uh, I'm the lucky one. I love Louise. I remember that I always have and I always will. No, Sheridan, you love me, your husband. Antonio, I did love you. And in a way, I still do, but not in the way that you need me to. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. And I, I, I can only hope and pray that in time you'll see that and accept it. Hello? Antonio, I'm glad you made it back to the cottage to fight for your wife. What do you want? to tell you that I have the crane jet fueled and ready to take you and Sheridan wherever you want to go. You still have the fake passports and cash I gave you at the courthouse, don't you, son? Yes. Good. Then get going. Now that Luis is free, don't give him another chance to steal Sheridan. Well, you know what? That's what I'm trying to do, but it's not working out very well right now. Oh, damn it, man. Stop pussyfooting around and take charge. How? how? How do you want me to do that? If Sheridan won't leave with you voluntarily, then kidnap her. I'm not going to do that. Why not? Luis did. He whisked your wife away and convinced her she loves him. You do the same thing. Get Sheridan far away from Harmony and never come back. Well, I guess I'll be going. Good night. Oh, GC, I almost forgot. You know, I'd love to write some letters to some friends back on St. Lisa's, and I just ran out of stationery. Do you have any? Um, yeah, Liz, I, th I think there's some stationery in the desk. Excuse me, sweetheart. What is this little picture doing in here? Never seen this before. What little picture is that, T.C.? It's a picture of a woman and a little girl. Have you ever seen this before, Eve? Tell him. 
Eve. Tell TC it's you and Aunt Irma. This reads to slow me down. I could take a long way to get back to the studio to do what I need to do. At least Whitney's got Fox there to keep the company. Now I can count on my best boy to take care of my best girl. Okay, Fox, the movie's about to start. Where are you with those sodas? Oh. I guess this is that email that Fox was expecting. Um, I guess I'll just open it for him. Oh my god. Fox, what are you up to? Oh, Sheridan. Won't be long now. And Tony, who was that on the phone? I asked you a question. Who was that on the phone? What are you doing with my suitcase? I'm taking it to the car. Maybe Antonio's finally accepted that I want to be with Luis. Not many men would be so understanding. Antonio, you can't do this to me. Luis is waiting for me. I don't give a damn about Luis. He kidnapped you. Now it's my turn. No! Antonio, let me go! No! No! I cannot believe I thought you were so much better than this, but you're not. You're just like all the other crane men. Antonio, you can't honestly think that you're going to get away with kidnapping me. Let me tell you something. I will see Luis dead before I see him with you. Are you sure? Monday, NBC's new summer season heats up, starting with Family Fear Factor. Dad's gonna lose it. Then, and only for love or money, some want money. That's all I need. Some want love. I'm falling for Preston. But who will survive to see the final four? Plus, the return of who wants to marry my dad. These three daughters will decide their father's destiny. We have chosen you to marry our dad. NBC's new summer season continues this Monday.